Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 25 says, the purpose of tithing is to teach you always to put God first in your lives. It made me stop and think twice when I read that. Notice that it doesn't mention anything about covering operating costs of the church or supporting ministries outside the church. All it talks about is the importance of tithing and your relationship with God. That gives tithing and giving a completely different meaning. Now, I'll be the first to admit I need all the help I can get in making and keeping God at the center of my life. I have a long way to go on my spiritual journey. But one of the steps that my wife and I made on that journey a few years ago was to set up online giving so that every week, year round, our offering comes here to Flores. And we've learned to prioritize and live our lives on what's left after our offering comes here each week. So you might be saying, you don't understand what it would take to do 10%. I'd have to reorder, reprioritize everything. But I do understand that. You see, I'm just like you. And yes, it takes some reprioritizing. That's the point. Do you want to grow closer to God? My answer was yes. And my experience has been that tithing is another step on that path. So my message today is really about deepening your relationship with God, learning to put God at the center of your life, and that includes your wallet. Flores has been such a tremendous blessing to my family and I. We serve here with joy, we give here with joy, and we've found a deeper relationship with Christ through that experience. So ask yourself, isn't that what you came here for? Keep that in mind when you pray about your giving for the coming year. Keep God first, give joyously, and enjoy the deepening relationship with Christ.